Okay, well, I've got the skull and crossbones. What's wrong with me? What buffs do I have now? Food poisoning. Terrific. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. What happens when I just stuff my face with everything? Can I... Can I get up the stairs? There we go. Nailed it. Break my legs. Henry, I'm so glad to see you. Um, fancy a little walk. What are you up to? How would you like to? Um, I don't know. Uh, come for a walk. A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now. Hal, give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. Understood. It's not you, Hal. <coughs> It's just this isn't a good time. Ah, uh, it's not me. It's you kind of deal, right? I get it. I understand. Can't sprint while I'm overloaded. Being overloaded is boring. Where can I find a shovel? Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. Good man. May the Lord watch over you. Ah, uh, which cart? Trying to be more specific? A poppy? Yoink. Right, I think I want to go into the village, into the city. I want to get, um... Yeah, we're overloaded even more now than we were before, but that's fine. Hey, doggo. Get a speed. And we are free. I think free to do whatever it is that we want to do. Fantastic, huh? What's this? Quest giver. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Susa Radzik, okay. <clears throat> that's the Dead Man's Ring, Undisturbed, new DLC quest. Oh, lovely. Activity giver, quest giver. Terrific. Right, you know what? Should we save? Because if I was to, to meet an unfortunate end right now, um, would I, um... Would I end up... <laughs> right back at that quest with Teresa. Probably. Probably. Just gonna sleep for an hour. Just real quick, just to save. There it is. Beautiful. Right, let's head to the village. Town, city, whatever you want to call it. I want to sell my stuff. And... Get some money. Maybe pick up some more quests and activities and we can set off on our... Wild adventures. I want to, uh... Again, I want to see if there's a giant hammer as a melee weapon. I don't think there is. I don't recall from last time. And I want to pick stuff because we need to get good at alchemy and herbalism and stuff, because I want to be able to make snaps for saving. I got a bunch of dandelions. And some sage. Ooh. Lovely. What can we use nettles for? Can we use nettles for anything? I guess we find out. I remember the, uh, the alchemy was a lot of fun, though, in this game. So I'm looking forward to getting back into it. And I think, with again, with us making schnapps, I think we're going to need it. A lot of it. Alchemy, I mean. I don't know what you can use any of this stuff for, but I'm taking it. Let me get some sage. I think you need sage for healing potions. Eee, a new level. Nice. We're flying up already. Oh, and I can find a horse. I know you get one. I think you get one as part of the quests, right? The main quests? I think. Oh, there's the bathhouse. Should we take a bath? Maybe later, huh? Rank to use equipment that demands better abilities than you have now. It's so its effectiveness is greatly lowered. Uh -huh. Okay.
Minimum agility three, min strength four. Okay, so I just have like nothing basically. Yeah, strength is currently two. Agility, vitality, speech is four though, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm sure there was one, like I said, there was one that you could... Um, do that would keep the um, crosshair on. When you had a bow, look, see, look, why can't I plus the bow? Is it because there's no skills for the bow? Oh, maybe there are no skills for the bow. I hope in the second game there are skills for the bow. <laughs> Uh, until you reach level 5, you're unable to hold the bow correctly. And when firing, the string will flay your forearm, causing injury unless you are wearing a vambrace or other arm guard. Oh. Oh, I need to level up. I have zero XP. We'll be using a lot of bow. We will be using a lot of bow. So we have axes. We have maces. We have swords. Drinking. I've got some experience in drinking, of course. All right. I was wanderer. Oh yeah, that's the, the nice, nice and bad beds thing. Okay, good. Let's go. So we need to practice our archery. That's for sure. And a mace. Now, I think if we get a big enough mace, we'd be fine, right? Yeah, this has to be a really big mace. <laughs> to, more, to become more of a hammer. I'm just thinking if I swing a hammer at stuff, I don't have to worry about, um, you know, the, the finesse of fighting with swords too much. Uh, I don't mind picking stuff up. It would be nice to have a faster animation, though. You know, just collect the stuff. Or a quick swipe with your hand, you know. I got some thistle. Very nice. Can't sprint my over, over overloaded. Of course. No fun being overloaded. But yeah, I know we get a horse for free, I think, for the deal for the for the game, for the story. What is that supposed to be? Are these boys? Oh. Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Thwoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Um, I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job Damn. to stop you. The bugger off. I have to tell Sir Radzik what happened to his sword. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then, go ahead. Thank you. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzig isn't pleased. Thanks, boys. Till next time. Ah, oh, this bring back, brings back memories, this place. Ah, chickens. Hi. Hey, it's Kunesh. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. Fine. I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got! But maybe I could. 
Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. That sounds if good you to me. Give my debt, that is. Consider it a deal, yeah. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Yep, very well, then. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalets, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove cut? And that's it? That's all I know. <laughs> How many dove cuts could there be in Scalets? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. All right. Yeah, sure, why not? Can I head back there at some point and grab some... Uh, we have some monies. Right, what's this right in front of me? Is this the trader? Hello, I'm here to. Tr okay. You're right there. <laughs> Trespassing immediately. I got really not off to a good start. Aha. Weapon Smith. Hi. Jesus Christ be praised. Uh, let's trade. <laughs> All right, Chief. Look, uh, oh, I can't just sell you my garbage. That's a shame. I have 17. He has 1.5k. Hmm, good, good to know. Bailiff's mace, broad axe. This stuff's all one-handed, though, guys. I want like a really meaty, really meaty thing. You know, something that requires as little skill as possible. <laughs> So I don't have to I don't have to worry about it too much. I can just run in there and smack things on the head. I, mean, I can't afford any of these things anyway, but Warhammer would be nice, but it's a really big. You know? Huge. Can you do wield? That thing, can you do wield? Is there a skill for do wielding? Rusty Edge, Furious. What does this stuff do? You have a great chance of bringing your opponent's blood. The more damage your sword, the greater your chance of poisoning. The more you're wounded, the stronger your attacks. When you draw your blood, uh, your, an opponent's blood, it gives you a plus one strength bonus. That's kind of cool. You'll have 20% greater strength, agility, warfare, and defense in a fight where you're outnumbered. That feels like it's huge to get. You know, that feels that feels huge to get. Blocking your strikes will cost an opponent 50% more stamina. I mean, I could always do that, right? Just go for a constant, like a massive, massive shield, right? <laughs> Golem. Your armor takes 30% more fright, uh, makes a 30% more frightening impression in dialogues. Oh, cool. A knight in shining armor. In sunny weather, the glint of your armor will dazzle everyone so much you'll be taken for a noble knight and get a charisma bonus. I can be. We can praise the sun and be a and be a, a, a knight of the sun. We're able to equip armor weapons and other items so cleverly. Um and other weapon items so cleverly that are one third lighter. So cleverly that are one third lighter. So cleverly that they are one third lighter than they actually weigh in the inventory. That's I think that's what it means. <laughs> If you beat your opponent, sh opponent sh if you beat your opponent in a clinch, it will damage his weapons 15% more. The damage weapon will cause less damage. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's what I go with. Maybe that's what I do. Maybe I just go with like a huge shield and then, and then bonk stuff with a the mace or something, you know? What is this? Oh, it's, a, it's the attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're buying the attacks. Yeah. Okay, okay. Your longsword? I think there is some two-handed stuff, right? Mace, mace, mace. It's, it's funny, sword is like... Hunting swords, saber, short sword, long swords. Hunting swords, long swords. It's just just all mace. What about axes? I might go for an axe, you know. But then I think I want to put some into defense. I think we're going to need that. All right. 
Um, there was a general trader right there. I need that person. I just want to... Ah, you're right here. I'm sell my garbage to this dude. Good day to you. What do you need? I need to sell my garbage. I mean, my valuable items. Yes. Could sell Bianca's ring. No. Hey, we could equip Bianca's ring. All right. Uh. Sell my savior schnapps. Not a chance. God, I got so much garbage, huh? Uh. Yeah, I mean. Add the basket. Is that it? Is that all I have? No. What's weighing me down? Why am I so heavy? Is it the 13 carrots that I have? <laughs> the 13 carrots. Yeah, the, uh, the Gimbison is obviously a thing. I mean, nothing's super heavy, right? But even given this this guy, this thing is still going to make me. Uh, I'm still I'm still way over overweight. Okay. Oh, seriously, why am I so overweight? Oh, it's because I have the shield and stuff on. Yeah, probably right. Uh, where's the mule thing? Oh, it's here. I need... Okay, so I need minimum four in strength. Okay. Now, if I remember right, the, um... Yeah, the alchemy's right here. Yeah, the apothecary. Here we go. And I think the... Yeah, alchemy bench. Yeah. Save your schnapps. Oh, I need nettles and belladonna. Oh, I don't have the ingredients for anything else. I mean, at least at least it gives me the uh, save your schnapps one, so. Yeah, although I think I have nettles, I just don't have any bella. I just don't have any belladonna. Eh. I could have taken the stairs. I realize. Hey. Heavens, lad, you're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. Uh, I'm healthy again. I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Um, who could teach me to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. Thank you. About that debt. About that debt. He wants 50? It'll take me a while longer. It'll take me a while longer. I understand. There's no hurry. I'm sure you'll honor your debt. Training. Alchemy. Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. Slightly advanced requires level 5. Beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. Alright, but it'll cost you. Of course it will. 60? Maybe another time. Damn, man. Oh. Okay. Is that something to him? Some some apples. <laughs> and some carrots. I don't eat that many carrots. And some onions. I mean nobody likes onions anyway, right? Okay. 
Done. Uh, wait, does he not sell them? Um... Jesus Christ be praised. Does he not also sell? Yeah, there we go. Recipes. This is it. 1.4k for some of this stuff? Damn. Well, poop. Should we head up and see? Uh, should we go up and see um, Sir Radzik? I mean, where is Sir Radzik? Oh, he's actually back there. Okay. Let's go find, I think, just discover a couple of locations. This is a, a grocer. What is this one? What can I do for you? I'm stocking. Good day to you. What do you need? <laughs> Just completely interrupted that charade. <laughs> I'm like, nope. Um, I'm almost underweight. Almost. It's honestly nothing I want to get rid of. We might need to, uh, to start storing some stuff away. I think we can right in a chest. Yeah, there's the baker. And the pub's up there. Alright, let's go speak to Sir Radzik. At least move that along a little bit. Right, it's across here, isn't he? In the garrison. Come here, young fella. Hey. A vagabond. Good day to you. What do you need? Uh, I don't know, you called me over. What are you hanging around here for? What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. Uh, what's it about? What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And Amateur. And I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? Alright, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well... If you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? I'm in. All right. I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. <laughs> well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdera the Guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. May the Lord watch over you. And rob the rich, gift to the poor. Completely on board with that kind of stuff. What is this? Activity giver. Okay, we have to go and speak to them. Uh, dead man's ring. That's for the... Uh, for the stuff. This is for the... Oh, that's for the treasure. What is... Wait, what is this? What, what the hell? Oh, visit the scribe. I didn't realize the scribe was that far away. My oh, word. What's this? Is that, is that the... Is that the quest there? Yes it is, it's that red shield. Optionally you could pay a miller uh, the debt for treatment. Oh, I could pay him, or optional could get the dead man's ring. I will do the optional one, I think, is what we're going to do. Visit the scribe. Here we go. Ah, he's over there. Still 50 groschen. Ooh, hello. All right. 
sorry, Ratzik can wait. I have a very important mission to do. And I have some schnapps, so we'll we'll sn we'll save with the schnapps. And uh, we'll have at it and see what happens, huh? <laughs> Probably going to be a very terrible idea, but... We can load it, and we're fine. Not something I'll be able to do too often with uh, with this limited save, I suppose. Now, where's this guard at? I guess he's over here. I'm going to keep going a bit further up, I think. Maybe I should have practiced with the Miller to get good at pickpocketing again. Or rather, just to practice it, I suppose. Is there an archery range? I can practice archery and stuff on. I think there is, right? Okay, so he looks like he's over by this um, tower. Mm, that cobbler. Lovely. It looks like he's over here. Is this him here? Yeah, yeah, this is the guy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Here we go. What's the matter, laddie? Nothing. Nothing. Just, uh, you know, just hanging around. You know, just hanging around. That belly, have you? Knock it out. Could knock him out. So wait for those guards to go up there, and then we knock him out. Hey, buddy, just just stay right there with you. Have you lost something? Uh, yes. I'm pressing F. Why are you creeping around like a footpad? Uh, it, it's it's not working. <laughs> I'm pressing F to knock him out. Not working. Are you quite well? Why can't I pickpocket him? What happened to you? <laughs> Some new kind of game. <laughs> back trouble? Uh, yeah, yeah, tons of back trouble. But I can't talk to him. What do you think you're doing? I have a mind to call the guards. You are the guard, man. What do you mean, call the guard? I don't understand. I don't think I'd better knock him out. I don't think I'd be able to pickpocket. Do you need help? My God. For God's sake, there! Over there! Well, that works. Ah, uh, okay. That was an experiment. Yes. Wait, is this the save I made? Oh! Where did he go? Oh, hold up. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, hold up. Where did my god go? He's there now? Why is he there now?
Why would you not just load him into the same place? That was weird. What was that? <laughs> okay. Alright, so apparently knocking him out is not that simple. Alright, understood. I was, <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be as easy as the. Uh, uh, I was hoping it was going to be as easy as the. Um, uh, as the other dude. Alright, so obviously I'm missing something because I can't even pickpocket at this point. Um. Zero. <laughs> right. Now, okay. Let me let me go talk to the the um Tess's uncle, is it? And see if he can help me actually learn how to do it. Because he, he, I think he teaches you how to do it. So let's do that instead. All right. For now, we will go and see Ratzik, and then we'll do the then we'll go to the Miller and and, and get him to train to train us in uh, in in. Wait, does he teach us how to pickpocket, or is it lockpicking he teaches us? God bless you. I think it's pickpocketing, right? Anyway, we'll go, we'll go and check with him. And then we can come back and steal from that dude. It's really annoying being still overweight. I can't run properly. Is it because of the sword and shield? I think it is, right? Because I think the sword and shield are heavy. Yeah, I mean, this Gimbersome's the worst. This is 12 weight. Damn. Okay. Mixed goods, handy implements, and machines of every kind. Come on up and buy. All right, let's see what Mr. Ratzik has for us. Oh, sorry, Sir Ratzik. I think he gives us a place to sleep here, right? Could that be the Smith's son, Hal? On my soul, it is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Uh, I was attacked by bandits in scallops. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you will be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? Uh, I'm going to ask you Sir Ratzik. I'm going to speak with Sir Ratzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Ratzik. I don't see any sword. No. Yeah, I failed miserably. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. All right, boys. I'm going huh? I'm, I'm to just barge in here while the dude's eating his lunch. Sit, sit on the toilet? No, 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 no. We're good. Thank you. Okay, let's just get out of here. Hi. Oh. Wait. Where do I need to be? Is it not right here? It looks like it's right here, but that's a very hard lock pick. Ah, uh, maybe it's up here and then round.
Oh, this looks better. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. <laughs> Sir Hans. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, oh, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. <laughs> we just, we just, you do we just walk in. Business here. <laughs> Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at town. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. Oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, mm. it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. <laughs> if you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. Yeah, let's do that. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, <laughs> why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. 
I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and the dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, puts Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, basically, yeah. Right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> Oh. He isn't a peasant father, he's a blacksmith, and recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. <laughs> hey! I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't it disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> I get paid? Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can Ooh. rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Oh, that went that went better than expected. Light a torch before the oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh to disturb you. Capon's Capon's horse. Train hard, fight easy. A radzik horse. What are you doing, creeping around like a footpad? Everyone has to carry a light at night by law. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Give me a second. How's this? Okay. Well, that's that. I thought they gave me a bed here to sleep in, but. Maybe I'm mistaken. All right, so what's this? Uh, go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Okay, great. Uh, activity giver here. What I might do is run back down here, get this activity giver. We could save at the farm. Uh, and then maybe we could work up towards getting this dead man's ring, perhaps. Get some money. Clear that debt, you know. And maybe when I'm back at the miller's house, I could store some items that I, can, uh, that I don't need for right now. The problem is when it comes to crafting, like with the alchemy and stuff, I think you need the materials on you. You know, like I don't think storage works. There you go. Feed the tapeworm. Uh, I'll go to that quest giver in the morning, actually, because it's quite late now, so I'll just go home, rest, drop some stuff off if I can, and then we go out in the morning. Oh yeah, still still can't still can't sprint. If I follow the quests, how do they give us a horse? How long does it take me to get the horse? I can't remember now. Because I could potentially do with just running towards that, running, rushing, not not rushing, but you know, uh, focusing on those quests to get the horse. Hmm, getting the horse would be very useful, I think.
Yeah, man. Almost there. Uh. Oh, no, it's not here, is it? It's further around. Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there. Wait, that's... It says the mill is there. Just discovered the mill. Oh, yeah, this here. It's, it's this one right here. Hey, bobbers. Why are you not in bed? Obviously, he's still hard at work. Apparently, he never sleeps. You look like something the cat dragged in. Thanks. What's that dog wandering around? What's that dog you have here? He looks familiar. Don't you remember him? It's Mart, the butcher's dog from Skellitz. Ah. Of course. When I went back to bury my parents, he was guarding his master's dead body. A faithful dog. How come he's here? When we carted you here, we took Mart along too. He's been hanging around the mill ever since. Um, what does the miller think about it? What does the miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. Aw. How's that? Every time he sees him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Jesus. And it didn't even soften <laughs> his heart when Mutt brought a hare from the woods. He was happy to eat it, but it didn't change his mind. I could have a word with him. Mm, that would be a waste of time. Uh, is he obedient? Does he obey you? Me? <laughs> not much. He's got a mind of his own, and I'm just not strict enough. Ah, spoiled then. No, he just hasn't learned many commands. <laughs> but he's well able to beg for a piece of meat. Ah, I bet he is. How long's he been here? How long has he been with you? More or less since we came here. He runs off now and again, but he always comes back. Sometimes I don't see him all day. I think he likes to go wandering. How's he doing? A lot better now. I slipped him something good now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. He won't starve to death then. So he's doing quite well then? Yeah. I'd keep him, but he reminds me too much of Tinker. You know, well, I don't want to think was that? It. So I thought maybe you might take him with you? Me? I'm sure the two of you would get on great. He's a handsome fella and lovable. I'd be very happy if you had him. But we never had a dog at the smithy. We never needed one. Come on. He's got no one. I'll have him. Yeah, yeah. I'll take him. Uh, all right. I'll take him. He can keep me company on my travels. Oh, this would work. I could use the dog and then... Go and get him then. Shoot the bow at people. He's sniffing around somewhere here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, boy. Uh, quest started, Rate Tawny. Oh, that sounds fun. Hello, boy. Hello. Hey, Mutt. Remember me? From Scalix. Remember? You want to go with me? Come on, then. We'll get on like a house on fire. <laughs> yes, we will. Follow me. Dog. <laughs> From this moment on, you have a canine companion. He's your best friend. who will protect and help you. But you must take good care of him. You can talk to him and feed him, ideally with meat. Give him commands and reward him with praise. The curse you give him all sorts of commands like heal. You also have a new skill of Houndmaster, which will determine how well your dog is trained and what commands you've uh, and what commands you've taught him. You gain experience by using commands and other interactions with your four-legged friend. In the Sidekicks tab, you'll see his stats, the most important of which is Obedience, such whether your dog obeys you or not. It will level up. Its level will keep falling with every injury. And also if you neglect your dog for too long. Oh. If a boy Obedience falls too low, your dog will stop heeding your commands. If it falls to zero, your dog will run off, and it will take some time before he comes back to you. During this time, you won't be able to give him commands. The higher the Obedience, the better stats the dog has. He will defend himself. And you better cause greater damage to foes, and it will take longer before he decides to run off again. You can improve your dog's obedience mainly by feeding and praising him, but doing it several times 
in succession over a short period is less effective than feeding and praising him regularly. Okay. Alright. Cool. I have a pet now. That's nice. Sense of smell. Current command free. I don't know what that means. The dog is presently carrying out his this long-term command. Okay. Obedience 50. Okay. Yeah, the cow master. There it is. You train your dog to pursue a fleeing foe and take him down. That's cool. I want sick. The dog will attack people on command. And I'm level five. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh, here we go. Right. Can I store stuff here that I might not need to hold on to right now? Uh Hmm. I mean Kanish's keys, but they're not like they uh they weigh much. And the roast duck's gone bad, unfortunately. Oh I can't put those in, okay. There's nothing I can really put in there, damn it. Okay. Well, let's rest. Ah, uh, seven hours. Good seven hours. There's a tourney happening on Rate today. You can sign up with the Herald this morning. Weighing the most here. The spade's quite heavy. <laughs> the seven cabbages are quite heavy. Get rid of the rose duck because it's um it's gone off anyway. Alright, let's eat some stuff, shall I? I think we can eat the soup. Bit of wine in the soup. Lovely. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Let's eat that. Well, now we can dry stuff. There you go. We're completely full. And we're underweight. Lovely. I have food poisoning again. <laughs> Why do I always have food poisoning? Have a wash. Hi, Mutt. Food. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Have a salami. D damn it. Look what I've got for you. I You'll pressed enter. This. But maybe enter's not the right one. Oh he, oh, he does like it. Okay. Yes. I'll take the salami back. After I drop the salami on the floor, let's praise There's him. A good doggy. That's my boy. Okay. We gave him some scratches. Obedience 80. That's good. Right? That's really good. Oh, I can sprint. Uh, right, there's a tournament. Apparently. Where's the tournament at? Uh,
Yeah, this. Oh, okay, it's right over. Okay, it's there. Okay. I mean, I don't really have the stats to fight with what I have, so... This should be interesting. How does it work with stealth, though, if I'm trying to be stealthy with the, with the, with the dog? still do it. If I need to sneak around, you know. I need a bow, don't I? All the equipment I had, I had like tons of groschen and some really nice equipment on, on Tess. I wonder where that's all gone. Do I really want to compete in this tournament? This is probably going to be a bad idea, isn't it? they give me some equipment if they're going to do this. Or maybe they do maybe get like wooden swords, something like that. What you found, boy? What, 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 what you find? Uh, okay. Th thanks for that, I guess. Ah, the Huntsman. That's right. Oh, the Blacksmith. Can I make stuff here? I know I can use the grindstones, but can I use the forge? No, I guess not, huh? That's a shame. That'd be kind of cool if you could use the forge, you know? And actually make something. Oh, yeah, there is an archery range in here. I wonder if I could just practice. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's down there. Do I need to speak to you for this competition? Uh, Tony, I've been asking to with the Herald this morning. Oh, by, ha by Sir Hanush, this dude. Oh, I can't talk to him, apparently. Well, where's the Herald? What's, what's... Where's he at? Private area. Wait, objective completed. Uh. But, uh. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna win. I'll be with you. Uh, basic training. I'm here for training. There's nothing I can do for you here. Come on, I'm at the combat arena. Very well, sir. Okay. Take care now. No, that's for the the main quest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.